Valley family, Spring Flower here, and I'm here with my little star boy. Star boy is like, uh, I love him. Mm, I love this little Paradise Gallerist baby. He's perfect. I really do love this little baby. And um, today, I'm here to dress him in Best Dress Sunday. So I found this really cute little outfit, which you saw in the beginning of the video. It's so sweet. I just had to get it. I found at the thrift store. I can't remember which one. But it's these cute little striped shorts. And this darling little elephant top. with uh, has a little elephant on it and a, and a little cat. It's just so babyish and lovely. Then I have these cute little booties that I'm going to put on him. So I'm going to give him a full, nice, dull little wipe off today. And, um, yeah. While I'm doing that, I'm going to have a little chat and a little conversation. I hope you guys don't mind. So, yeah, guys. Um, first of all, I would like to give a big thank you so much to everyone. Thank you so much, Dolly family, for all your wonderful comments and all your concern towards me and my family and my people here in Bermuda with... Uh, Dealing with Hurricane Humberto, I really appreciate every single comment that you left on my video um, on YouTube and on Instagram. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you so much. It was very touching. And um, that's why I love my Dolly community. I'll never let anyone turn me against my Dolly community. And I'll never allow a few bad apples to spoil the whole bunch. I just won't do it because there's too many lovely people out here. You know, I just can't, I can't be that person. So I have a wipe here, and I'm actually going to wipe him off. I see something on him. I don't know what it is, but I'm just going to give him a little wipe off, you guys, because he's a little dusty. So I'm giving him just a little wipe off. I'm not rubbing hard. I'm just giving my baby a little small wipe off. Right, me? Say, yes, mommy. You're giving me a little small wipe off. Yeah, so I just want to say thank you so much for that, guys. Um, We're literally here in Bermuda now bracing for... The next hurricane that is coming our way, um, Hurricane Jerry. Um, last time I checked, he did go down to a tropical storm, but they're saying he may come back up to a Category 1. I'm just hoping he just disappears personally. I, I hope he don't come at all, you know, but we still have to um, vigilantly and diligently prepare ourselves and, and make sure that we're ready for this next storm that's heading in our direction. I'm praying that it's, it dissipates and it goes away, but... You just never know. You have to be safe and not sorry. You know, so, um, yeah, that's what's going on her at home. And then also I wanted to talk about, um, I was watching a video by Pixie Mommy's Reborns. And, um, the video was about our doll collections in the sense of, um, she was asking, because she was saying how... Something to the effect, I'm just ad-libbing here, but it was something roughly around the fact that, um, that, you know, she feels overwhelmed with her dolls, you know, she's, she's trying to get, collect her forever babies now, and, you know, she's trying to get her collection where it's just all the dolls that she really likes and really plays with, you know, because she feels overwhelmed in the sense of when it's too many dolls, she doesn't know which ones to play with, and... All that kind of stuff. Something to that effect. Um, her, I'll link the video. She's having a conversation while she's driving. It's a nice little video to watch. Um, you need some powder, me? I say, yes, mom. I need a little bit of powder. I love putting a little powder on my dolls because I love the smell. I love to pick them up and smell that baby fresh scent. <laughs> I love that. So I do put powder on my doll babies. I do. But yeah, um, back to the conversation. She's actually driving her in her car. I don't know if you guys saw that video. And she's just talking about her collection and... You know what she's doing with it and she asks a question about what do you know others do when they have you know multiple dolls in their collection i kind of touched on this subject slightly before in a video i can't remember which video it was but i did kind of touch on a subject um touch on this subject slightly before in a video where i was talking about um I don't have to play with every single one of my dolls every day. I don't have to. I don't have to do that, and it doesn't bother me that you know a doll could sit and I haven't changed it for months. Like that really doesn't bother me because some of my dolls are just straight up show pieces, and I bought that. That's what they're here for. They're here to just look pretty in my nursery. And um, 
for my side of things, all my babies that I collect right now, all my collection that's here, and I have three more babies coming. And I was saying in another video that my three more babies, I'm feeling that um, that's going to be help me be satisfied. Well, I'm not help me, but I'm going to be satisfied. I'm pretty much reached a satisfied level with who and what I want in my collection. And I also stated that I'm not saying that I'm never going to buy another doll again because I definitely will probably end up buying more dolls. But as for my personal collection for other babies, I'm reaching a, a point of contentment. Like, and I feel happy that I'm reaching a nice point of contentment. And, um, yeah, so I have... 20 something dolls in her right now i can't remember if it's 20 or 21 but i have three more babies coming in my direction and one of those babies i'm happy to announce right here is my silicone i found my silicone baby um that i'm actually paying on right now but i'll talk more about that later as it gets closer and um yeah i'm really reaching a i'm, I'm reaching a stage in my collection where i feel satisfied and um she was saying how back to pixie mama's video she was saying that she's reaching that stage as well, which is, you know, she wants her forever babies now. Even though we always say in the, um, in the, uh, doll community, never say forever babies because, you know, babies move out. But I know for me, personally, I've always said all my babies are forever babies. And I also even stated that is, it is going to come to a point where I just want to maybe, um, experience a doll. I might not really even want to keep it. I just want to experience, see what it's like, feel it, touch it, and hold it in my hand. But... This first set of dolls that I'm got that my forever babies, they will not be going anywhere. They're not going anywhere, right, little man? Ain't no mommy walking me with her with you. Forever and ever, amen. These are all my forever babies. So, um, she's saying she's reaching that point. Because, you know, Tasha, Tasha from Pixie Mommy, she does a lot of buying and selling and, um, you know, box openings and just shifting her babies around. And she's basically saying she's pretty much had enough of that now. I like this. Look, it snaps in the back, guys. I love this. Oh, uh, this outfit is adorable. It's adorable. And it's a zero to three months. So, yeah, she was saying, um, you know, she's, she's ready to just, you know, be settled with her dolls. Which is really cool. I'm definitely settled with mine. And back to what happens with when you have multiple babies. Do you play with all of them or whatever? Do you feel a way? I know some people kind of feel a way of not playing with every one of their babies all the time. But... To me, you don't have to. I know what I do is I have a set of babies in my collection that I love and that I want here and I do want to see them. So I don't have them all packed away. All of them are out and they will all be out. My babies will be out so that you can see them. And yes, I have a set of babies that I will only change seasonally, meaning they will get their winter, spring, summer, and fall outfits. And I'm not even putting that on a... Um, on a dime any sense of oh they're definitely i'm definitely gonna always change them it just depends on how i feel and i decided to do that with my vintage girls my dolls that i'm have for many many years i said in the beginning once i get more dolls in my collection those are probably going to be retired in the sense of like they're going to be for looks they're going to be show pieces and they're going to be for looks and they're on the shelf they have a shelf to sit on at the moment and um i would just change them every now and then when i feel like it you know what i mean and then I also have started to collect um, a set of dolls that I probably wouldn't even change at all. I have a Paradise Gallery. I have two Paradise Galleries. Um, I have one in particular that I probably really wouldn't change at all. And that's my pixie girl. My little fairy baby. She's got the cutest little outfit on. I will show you everything once I finish dressing Starboy. But, um, yeah, I'm saying I w I have a, I'm going to have a set of babies on my collection that I probably wouldn't. Wouldn't even bother changing the clothes because they're just show pieces. They're just here to look pretty, <laughs> for one of anything else to say. They're just here to look really pretty and to make my nursery look full and nice and fun. Like, just make it look pretty and fun and full and nice. You look so cute, little star boy. Yes, you do. You look so adorable. Oh, my God. I love this door, you guys. I love his little face. I love his little face. But yeah, I have a set of dolls here that I may not change at all. And I have dolls that are my definite go-to babies. Like that I will change 
whenever I feel like it, probably more often than others. Starboy is definitely one of those babies for me. Um, he's a go-to go baby. I love Starboy. I love to pick him up. I love to change his clothes. Um, he's my little newborn little boy, and I, I just love him. I love him, and now that I figured out his hair, <laughs> I love him even more. Because when I first got him, I couldn't stand his hair. I couldn't stand it, but um, I've kind of figured out how to work with it now, so... I don't I like it now <laughs> but yeah um I have a set of babies that's my go-to babies and this will definitely be um definitely star boys one my Kiki of course she's another one and even these guys I'm not gonna change all the time but when I do change they're my go-to babies like I love to change them when I'm ready to change them that's what I do don't he look so adorable, you guys? You look handsome in your Sunday best, man. You look so handsome in your Sunday best. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Aww. And this stuff I sprayed in his hair, you guys. I got it from the Where's Doll Show. Um, This brush set, came and brush set right here. This came and brush set right here. And this little, um, what is it? It's Reborn Baby Conditioner for Moo Hair. And it's detangler. Isn't that nice? I got it from the Rare Store Show. I got both of these from when I bought my Saskia doll. My little Ava Pearl. It came in her little package. When I bought her, this stuff came with her. So it's nice to use for all the babies. Because I do sure. I share stuff. Some things are meant just for certain babies. But other things, most things, I just share it around. Everybody could get a turn with everything around here in this nursery. And they say, what well, family in this nursery? A family in this nursery, yes we are. Oh my goodness, look at my star boy, you guys. Look at my little schnooky books. But y'all yeah, guys, I say all that to say, um, it's okay to just have babies that sit. But I know for me, I know everybody's different. Some people don't like that. But for me, I don't mind having babies that just sit. I have a set of babies that I change more often than others. And, um... Yeah, I just like my nursery to look baby fight. <laughs> I don't mind if babies just are sitting for the day, you know, or even for a couple of days or even a month or whatever. I, I don't mind, like, it's cute for me, but that's what I do. I have them all out on display. I don't pack any of them away. I won't pack any of them away. And if it comes to the point where I'm going to pack something away, that means I definitely have too many. And I don't want that. That's why I'm coming to a conclusion where, um... As far as my display and for other babies, I'm coming to a place of contentment as far as who I want in my collection. Um, like I said, I've got three babies left out there. One should be here in Bermuda right now. A sculpt that I wanted. I want it really badly. I got my opportunity to get him. So um, he should be here shortly since the hurricane and stuff. It slid the post office rule right up. So there's only so much they could do. But um. Outside of that, yeah. So I'm gonna take you around the nursery. I'm gonna show you Star Boy up close, and then I'm going to take you around the nursery and show you all my little bop bops. You want your moggy baby? Huh? You want your moggy? Okay, man. Yeah, I am moggy. He looks so cute, you guys. My little snog. Yes. Oh, I love your outfit. I love this outfit. You look so cute. You look eyelashes. He's a beautiful boy. I love this doll. He's pretty. He's a pretty doll. He's a pretty boy. Yes, he is. He's a, my, my little boy. Yes, my pretty boy. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So let me show you him up close. Here's my little star boy up close, you guys. He's got his little hair camped on. Let me wipe that water off a little bit. He's got his little hair camped on. He's got his passy. Let's take the passy out. Let's put the passy back in. <laughs> yeah, passy back, man. Say yes, please, mommy. So this is passy back in. Here's his cute little outfit. And his head in his hands. And there's the cute little booties. And he's just too adorable for wise, isn't he? Oh, my little snooky books. I just love his face. I love this doll's face. Oh, my gosh. The sculptor. I can't remember who... Who did you, baby? But all I know is that I love your face <laughs> and your little ears, how they stick off. I love that. I love how his little ears stick off. It's so cute. And this is this cute little outfit. So this is my little star boy for Sunday bash, you guys. 
Okay, so mm -hmm. these are my girls that's on the shelf. There's Shea Shan, Jules, Chitty Fruity, Adora, Razu, and Amy Lee. So these are my vintage girls, Amy Lee, Razu, and Jules. These are my vintage girls, and I would usually just change them seasonally now. So they'd be changed from winter, spring, summer, and fall. And then um, here are my two Adora dolls. These two dolls prob will be probably two dolls that I will hardly ever change. I actually, I love their outfit. They're definitely for show. I'm da I'm going to, I was thinking about putting Tutti Fruity back into her original outfit because they have, they both, these dolls come in these really pretty fluffy kind of dresses. So, you know, um, they may stay in their clothes. I'm actually going to have another shelf built, um, put up, you know, and they will probably get a shelf of their own. And then there's Shay Shan. I did change her clothes and I may change her every now and then depending on how I feel. And yeah, these are basically display dolls, you guys. And then up here is all my little teddy bears. And I swapped those out. Like when I did the little changing video today because it's a boy, it was an elephant. I pulled the elephant on. I put the kitty cat up. And yeah, this is just another little, um, it's a butterfly right there hanging. Um, yeah, where I just keep my stuffed animals for my nursery to make it look pretty and little baby books and things and little blankets are up there but this is not a nursery tour so let me come back i'm just talking about the dolls so yeah these dolls are my shelf dolls they're look they're basically there for looks to look pretty i will hardly change them or never change them that's basically what this set these set of dolls are then of course i'm back down here to my star boy he's a go-to baby he's one that i will pick up more often than others to change because i just love him like that and then that's my tripod setup guys right here this is um my little tessa ray i change her every now and then and i feel like it should probably be a baby that i'll change and then in here is my little um cocoa bean i change her every now and then and i feel like it and there's my little Ava Pearl, she's so cute, and she's my little princessa. And I hardly, I actually hardly change her. What I do with, with Ava Pearl, like I put an outfit on her, I love her in the outfit. I'm going to change her soon, though, because there's something else that I want to put on her. But um, I'm finding that I don't play with her so much. She's really a showpiece for me. Even though she would get changed more than my shelf dolls. But um, I just love to see the store sitting up just like this, you guys. I, I love to come in this room and see her and her little face, her little look, her eyes. She's beautiful to me. And I, I don't really change her as much. And it's okay. Um, down here, I just rested them down. I usually have them hanging, but I've got my tripod. These are my little tiny twins. They're go-to babies for me. I love to play with them. They're really tiny and small and cute. And I love to put them in different outfits. So look, I will call them go-to babies. And then there's my little Benji. There's Benji and he's still in his um, Mickey Mouse outfit. He's a baby that I like to change. So every now and then if I feel like changing, I'll change Benji. And of course I have my big girl Dakota. They will be getting changed when I feel like changing them. And play it with and stuff. Depending on what moods I'm in and stuff. And of course there's my Kiki. Kiki is definitely a go-to baby. Kiki is the baby that she's my baby. She goes everywhere with me. She's my traveling doll. She's my baby. She will get played with. She will get probably more than everyone else in this whole nursery. She will probably get played with the absolute most. And that's just what it is. <laughs> and then we have my little Gia Bia. My little smiley girl. She's another one that I will go to and change when I feel like it. And then of course we have Dimitri. And if I'm playing with Dakota... I'm most likely going to be playing with Dimitri because they are a set and a pair and they go together as a team. And then we have little Pumpkin. Pumpkin's another baby I'll change when I feel like it. She's like a vintage girl to me as well. I like to see her in these types of clothing. So when I come across these things, when I shop and I see stuff, she pops in my mind for vintage looking clothes. So yeah, Pumpkin probably get changed. And then over here in this corner, hi girl. This is my little pixie girl. My little Harmony Rose. And she probably would never get changed. Because I love her outfit. And she's definitely just a little showpiece for me. Um, I said that I would probably change her. If I find something along the lines. Pixie-ish. Like what she has on already. I wouldn't put her in regular clothes at all. I would try to keep her in these types of ensembles. 
So yeah, guys. Oh, and of course, there's Prairie over there standing up by the hula hoop. And that is Dakota's baby doll sitting in the rocking chair. But yeah, Dakota, I mean, Prairie, of course, is a showpiece. So she's just here in the nursery to show off. And yeah, guys, that's how my nursery is set up. Um, I have, like I said, I've got three more coming. And um, yeah, so I would not pack any of these babies away. And I play with what I feel like and I change whoever I feel like. And it's some that I will never change and some I'll change all the time. <laughs> some you'll see on camera more than others. And I definitely think here's one of those. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much again for um all your wonderful, wonderful prayers, vow wishes. Um, blessings, all of that, and just thinking about me and my family and my island, I really appreciate it. And yeah, we're bracing up for another one, so hopefully, it wouldn't be too bad. And I should be back home for that one. I'm still house sitting right now, I just came time to make this video, and um, yeah, because I wanted to get him in this outfit. I was like literally thinking about him putting him in this outfit for Sunday Bass, so I had to come and do it. <laughs> These babies, I also wanted to say real quick before I go, I have to admit, um, during the hurricane, you know, I had Kiki with me and, um, these dolls, I don't know how it is for you, but for me, they were a very good source of comfort. Um, then I changed her up and everything the next day. It was, uh, it was a source of comfort, like took my mind off of all the craziness that was going on and holding her and playing with her it was a source of comfort for me so i really appreciate my dolls for being a source of comfort and whichever one i feel like picking up for that day to be a source of comfort that's what it is so yeah guys but yes thanks again for watching and i'll talk to you all soon i love you dolly family and remember it's your dolls your way Bye bye love, love, love.